morning guys welcome back to my channel it's currently almost 7 a.m. and I am getting up now about to start the day Just got to the gym. I'm gonna work out legs today. This is my first leg day back since vacation. So, or since before vacation, I didn't do a leg day on vacation. Um, so I'm gonna try to take it kind of easy. I'm definitely gonna do like squats, lunges, and leg press, you know, like my staple leg day things, but I'm gonna probably do less weight, maybe less reps. I don't know. I'm just gonna kind of see how I feel. finished on the squats I did a lot of repetitions I did like four sets with no weight and then four sets with weight which I do really low weight when I do squats um, because of my heart condition for whatever reason squats or any type of like strenuous movement calls me to get lightheaded so anyway that's why I do the low reps because I know people are probably like you should do more than that because I've been working out for you know a few years now so like you would think I could increase the weight but I just don't want to do that to myself I burned 258 active calories 317 total average heart rate of 129 and it got up to 169 <music> I'm interrupting the vlog really quick to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I am so excited to be partnering with them. If you guys have been subscribed for a while, you might remember I worked with them a while back and I was super pumped that they wanted to work with me again because it is an awesome online platform for creators and lifelong learners to continue learning. I've been out of school now for, I can't believe I'm saying this, but literally a year and I'm the type of person that constantly wants to learn new things, which is why I'm always starting something new. I'm constantly working on something something hint hint you guys know I have something behind the scenes right now and Skillshare has the coolest online community with thousands of inspiring classes so if you're like me and you like to learn then trust me you want to check out Skillshare but some of their classes that you guys might find really interesting is social media marketing productivity animation photography classes and of course entrepreneurship and they have so many cool classes surrounding that but the one that I want to highlight today is the most recent class that I've taken and it's the productivity for creatives it's a class that teaches you all the skills that you need to be productive so if you're someone like myself who's constantly trying to learn more productivity hacks how you can get more things done in a day and organizing your life all the things that us young adults are into you would probably really like that class and one of my favorite things about Skillshare unlike a lot of other learning platforms is 
It is specifically curated for learning. There's no advertisements and they're always launching more premium classes. And the first 1,000 of you guys to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership. So go now, if you haven't checked it out, you're gonna get a completely free trial of the premium membership so you can access all the classes and you can also check out that productivity one. And thanks again Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Hey guys, so it's much later now and I just ran through the Starbucks drive-thru got my coffee and I just got the cream on the side because you know I'm very particular about the amount of cream I want so it's just easier this way some out here is like pretty much perfect but sometimes when I ask for light cream this is what it looks like but other times if I ask for light cream then it's like barely any or too much that's probably just me being annoying and picky but that's why I asked for it on the side anyways I curled my hair which I haven't done in a really long time I've been on this like spree of crimping it or straightening it and I hadn't put any like little curls or waves in it in a long time so I really like it I think it looks pretty and I'm wearing my new jeans from um, Urban Outfitters or the BDG ones and then also this tank top that I got from Urban Outfitters and you guys my new bag this is my first time carrying it i got the chanel 19 bag i already shared it on instagram and oh it is just such a dream i literally do nothing but just stare at it all day it's such a beautiful bag and i'm just i'm obsessed with it i had to try to wear like something kind of cute because this bag is just everything and i feel like you can wear it with whatever obviously it just i don't know I was just so excited and I'm gonna take a picture today at some point with this bag it's beautiful and eventually I will do a what's in my bag video of course I didn't do an unboxing or like come to Chanel with me because I bought it on fashion file I didn't go into the Chanel store obviously when the day comes that I go shopping in a luxury store like Chanel or Louis Vuitton like I'm gonna vlog that hands down but as of today my luxury bags are usually like secondhand because I like to save money and sell my old bags to buy new bags kind of thing. I try to be reasonable about it, so when I do end up getting a new bag, it's because I sold old bags. But anyway, let's go. I'm gonna go get my nails done really quick. I found a really cute picture on Pinterest as my inspiration, and I'm hoping they turn out cute. Just got finished, you guys. These might be my favorite nails that I've got done in a long time. And I know every time I get out of the nail salon, I'm obviously happy I just got fresh nails, but seriously, I'm obsessed. Um, I haven't had short nails in a long time and I decided to go with these. I found these nails on Pinterest and he literally nailed it. They look perfect. I'm just so obsessed and they're really short, which I wanted. I just needed a break from the long nails. I was banging them on everything. And one of them was really lifted and another one was chipped and it was just time to take a break from the super long nails. Um, so anyways, I'm just obsessed. Guys, I ordered that cool hair thing that I saw on TikTok that everybody's using where you can do heatless curls. You like put it in your hair when your hair's wet. This is so weird. But I got it and I'm gonna try it out and see if it works. If they're telling the truth, like it actually gives you decent heatless curls, which would be really nice because I put heat on my hair every single day. And it also came with these little hair ties or bracelets or something. And then this cute clip, which is actually perfect because I use these to separate my hair whenever I'm curling in and doing stuff like that. Just finished a meeting with a project manager about what I am working on. I wanna tell you guys so bad because it is so exciting, but I can't just yet, but very, very soon, like probably not next week, but the week after that. So in the month of August, you will know what I've been working on for literally the last two months and I can't wait. <clears throat> so excited. The least flexible person in the face of the earth. <laughs> Try and keep your legs flat. I Chad, and then I can't even stretch. Just lean, yep, there you go, that's it. Just lean forward. As but I'm not feeling the stretch due to the fact that I don't have the strength to like hold myself forward. Does that make sense? Do you feel it when you bend your knees a bit? Yes, then I'm feeling the stretch in here. Okay. So that's why it helps. Dude, this hurts my kneecap really bad. Yeah. Like I can't, what the hell? Can I use this pillow? Tell me why my kneecap is still like digging into this pillow and still hurting. It's just the pressure, I think. <laughs> yeah, but like, Put on peaceful music. But it wouldn't be enjoyable if I wasn't talking the whole time. All right. Try and keep your hands on your toes. Hands on the toes and I'm going like down into a squat and then up like that. Yeah, so like your feet are gonna be there or your hands are gonna be like that. So you come down to the squat Chest forward, chest up, and then oh, stand this is, back this up. Oh, this is a yoga pose. 
My hammies are sore. Yeah, mine too. I was doing RDLs <laughs> with a, or deadlifts with a bar. Yeah, do the pigeon. Chad, this is weird. Look at this one. Hers is at 90 degrees. I can't do that. So we're gonna do two, two minutes each side. Where? All right, I'm gonna break my leg if I stay in that position. So we'll try to just ease it. You're really good at this. I'm not that good. Well, thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm hurting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I mean, this hurting. one hurts. Yeah, it does. Anybody want Stetson's burger? <laughs> he like bust the door down. <laughs> <laughs> what gives you the right? <laughs> Is it normal that I can like twist that all the way around? I think so. Can you do that? Uh, let's try. All right, try. I'll try. 